here's a better look at the adapter. You can see that the sodium is, goes up here, and the, obviously on the bottom it goes into the desktop. Nothing special. All right, so we got our laptop RAM to desktop RAM DDR4 adapter installed. You can see it's running 2133 megahertz. That's what it's advertised to run. So uh, we're gonna go right here into the RAM configuration and see if we can boot it up at uh, JDEC spec for the laptop RAM. Let's just double check our voltage, make sure it's hard set to 1.2 volts. Allegedly this PCB can't handle more than that, so as you can see, we're running 3200 megahertz, nice and easy. JDEC spec 22, 22, 52, nothing super special. See if we get into Windows at this speed. All right, guys, so that so the PCB might not be rated for 3200 since it is rated for on the website for 2133. So it's running at JDEC at 3200, as you can see, it's not stable. So that, that must be a PCB issue. Well, it looks like I got it to pass, uh, what, at least one pass at uh, 3,067 uh, mega transfers. So, uh, if nothing else, it seems to be uh, decent there. So again, it's only just a single stick. We're not running dual channel or quad channel or anything, so uh, it's not going to score very high. We got 20, uh, 23,426 on the read. We got about... 24,000 on the right as I last checked and on the copy we got uh, 20,974 with a latency of 59.8 this is on a i5-9400F coffee lake as you can see it's on 3066 so there you have it it works I'm gonna mess around with some more voltages see what kind of voltages the BCB can handle See at what point does it fry or whatever.